Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to make a very simple modification to a poncho liner, which is a standard poncho liner, so I can make a foot box in it, so it can be used as an overquilt in the hammock. So what we're going to do is just find not the long it's got well obviously it's more of a size of a big sheet so you want the smaller end it's the one that's the shortest piece across then what we're going to do is we're going to snip a few holes next to this tie out just here snip a hole there then we're going to be putting some shock cord through straight through it so we can pull it tight and create a, a um, gathering so we've got a foot box and that's all you really need to do it's a simple simple thing so let's just get on with it. If this video is not too long, I'll let it go as one, one edit. So we need a pair of scissors. Just put a small, a small snip there. And again on the other side of the tape. Sure it cuts. And we're going to burn these because they can actually tear out. And then another one this side on the corner before the tape. It's only a small hole to get the cordage through. Another one the other end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this spoon end. You can use any piece of metal just to get some heat in it. I haven't got the best vision. I'm not wearing my best glasses, but I'm sure I'll be able to do this. Then I'm just going to touch it against this to give it a little bit of a melt. So it won't fray back. That one didn't cut very well. So this is going to give you that drawstring because I've used these before to sleep under and your feet, you just can't control where your feet go and it slides off you. It does a lot of sliding these things. So I mean this isn't going to be the, the prettiest but it should stop it fraying back. So we've done that one, that one, now it's the centre ones. Basically, it's quite easy to do. I'll show you a bit closer up now. You just want to shove it into the hole you've cut and then twist it around it and just seal off the ends. So you've got a little hole there, just shove it in and then twist it around and it'll seal off anything it touches it'll just slightly, slightly melt not a lot but a little bit now the fiddly bit could be getting th this cordage through so I start in the middle and this is a thick bit there's a double bit of um it's a double bit of outer cordage here yeah. I'm gonna cut some of that I don't know what that is but it's an inner piece So this is a quick job, this is a few minutes to do this. All you need is the elastic cord, or well, you could use paracord I imagine. It doesn't really matter if it's elasticated, shock cord. It's just that shock cord will be more easier to pull about and it a stretch. Yeah, I've got a um, very thick bit here. Now, without anything helping you, this is, this is going to be quite difficult. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go and find um, something to push this through. Something like this. I'll keep all the 
good stuff in the drawer. Bit of stair tape. This might work. Then just attach, not the sharp end, I'm going to put the, the, the non-sharp end on. I don't know if it'll be too thick, but we'll try and get it through. Because inside here, even though it's a seam that they've um, sewn on the end, there is still the wadding stuff in there for the insulation. And I've done one of these already. This is just like, I didn't film it. And I thought, well, this is a really easy thing to do. So let's get on with it and see if I can show it. And there it is. As I said, it's easy. I probably should have started the other end and then I could have gone right through the whole thing. Now I'm going to have to take the tape off and tape it on again. Didn't think it through, did I? But if you start one end, you'll be able to get it right through. So now, I'm going to retake that and I should be able to push it through back. Ah, before I do that, I need to put a toggle on it. You need to put one of these on before you go right through. So I need to go in. Put a toggle on it. Pull that out a bit. Toggle down, back through the toggle. So you end up with it like that, and then this end will go through this part. Let's just tie this off again. Going for a hang in the woods in a bit. It's been raining, but it's not supposed to, it's the showers. I've got someone texting me about it. They want to have a little hang. They've never been in a hammock. So if I can get this done, it'll be something to take out and see it straight in the woods and check it out and get it working. Right. So now we're going to go right-handed, flip it around. Go back in that hole I made. I oh, don't tell me. I'm on the camera. I'm always on the camera with this table, and I end up making loads of um, wobble. To make that a bit bigger, that hole. And then we're in. And we're out. Now what I do is I have this cordage long enough. So this is a This is on full, full width, so it's standard as it was when I showed you to start with. And then I have it long enough, so I can pull that right through. So you've still got a poncho liner. All you've done is add a bit of cordage, um, shot cord to the bottom. So when you look at it like this, you get your other toggle. And you toggle it through like this. And now you've still got a full open poncho liner. You can put little 
knots on there, but I don't usually have a problem with it. And now when you want to put a foot box into it, you just pull this as much as you can to get it nice and tight. And then you pull this one, because this middle one does help a lot to get this cinched up. And it should cinch down really well. You have a little, a little hole in the bottom. But now you've got a couple of uses for this. You've got, the, you've got your foot, foot well, so when your feet are in it, like this, they won't come out and they stay in there. You can push down and keep it in position. And if you're sitting outside in, on the camp, you've got yourself a hood you've just made, which will sit over you and the liner will drape down and you can even wrap it around and you've got yourself a little blanket for sitting outside when you're sitting outside the hammock or in a little communal area and it's a cinch i mean okay you've got the strings you can tie things up but you still end up with big holes with this as a foot box it works because i've done it i've got another one i've already done but i thought i'd just make the quick video and you saw it this is not going to get edited i don't think this is a one take video how quick it is so you need uh, something to just slightly heat those stop and frame back a pair of scissors something to push the cordage through to help you obviously i use that to just burn it but you can use anything a skewer whatever you've got just to get that from fraying i've recut it so i'm gonna have to go over them again but i don't want to drag the video on so there you go it's a tip to make a quick hammock quilt with a foot box you don't need to worry about the foot box being closed here because it'll be under you obviously you need an under quilt but if you really wanted to close it off more and you wanted to sew you could just sew some pieces on there so you could just tie that off and have a proper foot box but i don't like my feet being that enclosed so that's enough for me just to keep this over me and push it down so that's it thanks again for watching if you like any of the videos don't forget to click the like because that way it saves to your page and you can see your like videos in the future if you want to reference them again i do a lot of likes on videos i like okay thanks a lot bye bye